Hi everybody, this is Clayton from International Connector, and this is our DIN rail block kit number one gray. Now, a lot of people are used to using gray blocks, even though they're not the standard for dinkle blocks. Uh, the standard color for dinkle blocks is kind of this beige color. You can see it differs a little bit from the gray, but a lot of the um, other manufacturers, their standard is gray. So this is kind of the color that a lot of people like to use. This kit comes with a eight inch piece of aluminum DIN rail. So if you were to assemble this, let's say you go ahead and mount the DIN rail first, use some like pan head screws, um, get it nice and secure. And then first you're gonna wanna put an end bracket on. You snap that on by putting in the back foot first and then snap it down this front and it goes right in that little cut right there. And then for these SS2s, you can tighten down the screw until it pushes that plastic foot. You'll feel it tighten up. And then the other screw, the back screw, actually will bite into the rail. And that's kind of the most important one. So that's on there nice and firm. So now we can take our terminal box and just stack them one after the other. Put that foot in, snap it down. Put that foot in, snap it down. So this comes with 20 of these DK 2.5N blocks. You don't need the end cover on each one of them. You just need them for the last block on the string. Sometimes you don't even need them for that if you're putting an SS2 behind it or something that covers the guts because you just need to cover cover all that the metal parts there so you keep it finger safe. Let's just throw a couple of SS2s in there for good measure. I'm not going to tighten those down right now, but they tighten down the same way, obviously. And I've got the end cover on there. That's a DK4NC end cover, and that's in the gray color. We give you a little extra rail here, just in case if you're mounting a breaker or something else. Or if you want to mount all the blocks and then mount the rail afterwards, you've got room for the mounting hole still being exposed. So I did 10 and 10. Put this guy on here. Now maybe, depending on where you'd want a ground block. Um, so you see the ground block. This is a DK4 MPE. So that handles up to a 10 gauge. This one's got <clears throat> metal. It's a lot more substantial of a block because it's got the metal going all the way to the bottom into the foot. So now that's connected to the rail. So earth block, ground block. <clears throat> so now everything gets grounded to this rail and you can ground it to the box. If you want to do them separately, we've got two end covers. It's a TK2.5NC-PE. That covers it up nicely. Throw on another SS2. I'll go ahead and tighten this one down. I start feeling the resistance there. Go ahead and stop. It just pinches down that metal foot and the screw kind of bites into the aluminum rail. Just makes it extra sturdy. Okay, so we're not gonna use that one just because I stacked these next to each other, so you only need it for the last one. And these are DSS 2.5 and 10 P's, which is a 10 pole for the DK 2.5 N block. I'll go ahead and just push that in with my fingers. You feel it go in nice and snug. Do the same thing with this one. Some people will take this and they will cut it, re-insulate it, or cut it and leave it open. Um, we also have different sizes, so you don't have to cut it, just so it can all stay finger safe. You can daisy chain two poles or anything like that. Um, you know, different sizes. Let's see, I wanna make sure this one's down. Look at that. Okay, so here, I can show you one, one thing not to do. I looks like I missed a little bit on this back foot. You see that foot, now that I wiggle it? So, that's kind of a pretty easy fix. You can just take and push that foot up. And what happened was I didn't seat this back foot all the way. That's well, gonna be pretty snug, so I put the end brackets in there. There we go, that's how it's supposed to look. Okay, I'm gonna take that 10 pole jumper, plug that one in. Like I was saying, you can, people do cut these down to different sizes, or you can get them in anywhere from two pole to 10 pole. So now 
that this jumper is there, it connects all of these terminal blocks down the dinner line, okay? So now there's 10 elevator cages here and 10 here, and all those wire connectors, there's 20 of them, they're all gonna be in common now. And same thing with this gang here. There's gonna be 20 wire connections that are all in common. And the ground block works the same, but it uses the rail as the jumper, right? Because this metal is grounded to the rail. So you can manipulate it in different ways. You don't have to use all the blocks at once. You can, um, like I said, we've got the extra rail, or you can buy some of our smaller packets to kind of make your own custom kit. Hope you have a great day.